In a relationship, folks, should the man shoulder the majority of the expenses or should the expenses be shared equally? Just on the face of that, I disagree with them two things. Um, I don't think it should be a rule, personally. I think if you're in a relationship, you have a chat about how things should go, how things might go, how do you want it to go? Mm -hmm. So if I'm in a position or a better position than my lady and some expenses come up and I have to deal with that, then fine. If she's in a better position, then fine. So I don't think it should be just, all right, I spend $10, you $10, $10. I, I don't think it should be a rule mm -hmm. across. You know, I'm not saying it couldn't happen that way. Right. But I don't think it should be a rule. I think you should have a chat about the expenses from day one or even before day one, truth be told. Right. <laughs> even before right. day one. So, yeah. so, so we know what is going on. So mm -hmm. if, me, if me and the lady say, all right, we have a country and is how much, how much you is to pay? And I say, well, all right, I can handle this, how much you can handle, and fine. Maybe I have to handle all of it at that time, or maybe she have to handle all of it at that right. time. But I don't think it should be a rule right across the board that everything we do, we share equally, or everything we do, I pay more, or everything you do, you pay more. I don't think so. What about that thing about men being providers? <sighs> I think that's old-fashioned. Mm. I think that's old-fashioned. What if you meet someone, you're not in a good position, um, but she is in a great position, mm. financially I'm talking about, right, right. you know, well, what you do. Yeah. You just say, well, I can't manage this relationship because I can't provide. No, uh, I think that's old fashioned. Yeah. That's how I feel personally. No, 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 it's good. No, no. And it's good to, to hear, your, hear you say that as somebody who is more mature, right? You know, um, because a lot of that type of thinking is, is, is reserved these days, I find, for people who are less mature than yourself. I think it must be, I think honesty is the, is the greatest thing in life. Right. So one of the time I can say, come Kadeen, we have a lunch, but I'm going to lunch with you, but you know, we can't we'll afford it. everything. So you will pay for you, I pay for me. Mm -hmm. If she's all right with that, then right. fine. Yeah. You know, if I'm in a position where I say, come Kadeen, we're going to lunch and I will buy lunch, then, right. then fine. But again, I don't think it should be right across. I like the ultimate discussion. <laughs> yeah. I like how you opened in that you're saying there is no one size fits all right. because really and truly there is no one size fits all for any element of any relationship, right? Any intimate relationship, anyway. You know what I mean? The two people are two individuals. They're unique in their own way. They've got to meet, find some middle ground, something that works in a mutually beneficial way, right? Yeah. You know, um, and I've read. And I've heard and I've seen that one of the most important things in a relationship is the finances. Yeah. And if you not deal with that up front, it can break up things proper, proper, proper. Real talk. Um, because if it's just you alone, just go so. One of the day, they're going to say, how come it's me alone just go so? so. Yeah, you know? at and, some point. And that is going to cause a problem. Really? Again, I'm repeating myself, but if I'm in a position for me to keep going like that, then I'd rather have, have an issue sharing um, with my partner, then I don't see anything wrong with that. Historically, societal norms yeah. often place the expectation on men to be the primary breadwinner. However, today women are actively pursuing careers, becoming financial contributors, and the modern couple is rewriting the script on what is meant to be a provider. Um, despite significant strides towards gender equality, societal expectations linger, casting shadows on relationships. Pressures persist with some expecting men to be the primary breadwinners. Should guys pay for everything in a relationship? Mm. Managing finances within a relationship can be tricky. Mm. True. Um, should contributions be equal or proportion, proportional to income? Well, we can talk about that. Yep. Who should pay for what? Mm. Yep. Um, and with Valentine's Day coming up, Valentine's Day really, really is heavily one-sided. Yep. Heavily, yep. heavily skewed towards the women, yep. you know, and then men get. But it's you know it's the same way I feel about <laughs> even things around the house. Mm -hmm. So there was a time that you are the woman, you go and cook and you go and wash and you go and iron. Uh, old fashioned business that mm -hmm. you know. I, I actually love ironing for some strange reason. Yeah, no, me too. Yeah, for some strange reason, I do. Me love iron, so yeah. I have no problem taking out my little shirt and doing my little thing. Right. But if you are a better cook, <laughs> or if you like to cook, because some people can cook and don't like cooking, right. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so if you like to cook and you want to cook every day, fine. But if I come in one day and you work late and 
you're tired, come. I don't say why I can't do something till you come. You right. know, it can't be. No, no, no. She's the cook, you know. No, old fashioned something. Like that. True that. So we've got a couple of points around money management in relationships. Yep. Um, let's quickly go through them. You, you want to start with that one? Open on communication. Mm -hmm. The cornerstone of any healthy relationship is open and honest communication, which I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Set a joint budget. Absolutely, a joint budget um, encompassing individual and collective ex um, expenses. You work out how much each partner can toss into the communal hand for rent, utilities, etc. Yep. Track your spending. Keep track of your expenses, both as an individual and as a couple. Somebody told me a story about the lady borrowing money from the gentleman. Never give back the gentleman when he was supposed to get it. But she kept spending all about the place. What should the gentleman do? <laughs> what if she had to say, remember you borrow some money and I know what she has spent, or give me back my money, or what should the gentleman do? In, this is in a relationship I've talked right. about here, so what should he do? <laughs> well, it depends on the relationship, because... <laughs> Why are you borrowing money from your you spouse? <laughs> I what don't understand that, that in the first that work? <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm doing, to be fair? Like, sometimes, like, me and my wife, like, depending on what we're doing, so even just the other day, like that, that last trip that I made, um, we were going to this particular space. I mean, I say, wow, it, it got run ring. A certain amount of money. So I say, here, what, babes? Give me $300. You understand? Yeah, man. And she's like, yeah, sure. Not wrong with that. You know, I like that. Yeah, so but you just have to work I, I, it out. I, I, I come back to where I started. Honesty is yeah. the best. Track, Safe for shared goals. Is this how we reach? No, track your spending. Yeah, no, I said that. Well. Okay, right. Safe um, for shared goals. Safe for shared goals. So plotting a getaway, buying a cozy home, starting a family, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Work it out together. Yep. And allocate personal spending money because you're going to need that too. You're going to need yep. your own thing. Avoid impulsive purchases, which is not Woo! easy to do. Which is not easy to do. <laughs> Sometimes you go around, you know, mean for buying nothing, and you just see something and say, no, I'm on my. Mm, <laughs> and when you reach up, you go, so I say, wait, no, where my money go? <laughs> but most importantly, educa educate yourself about finances and financial management. Yeah. Yeah. To me, most importantly, is have a chat about everything before you start jumping to all kinds of things. Have a chat about it. All right? <laughs> I won't tell you what Clive chat entails. But <laughs> that's it for... Was that my conversation? That was it. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> <We're so cool. laughs> the great Clive David chat.